Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and today we're going to be running our new 34 by 24 hammer mill again, doing some tests on it. Today we have our discharge conveyor and cross belt magnet uh, hooked up so we can run a full size test. And we're going to be running three different samples. We're going to be running a contaminated aluminum sample, whole PC towers, as well as whole printers. So we're going to run all that stuff through and we'll show you the results.
Okay, so here's our crushed up clean aluminum. See it all came out pretty good. They put it in their clean aluminum bin here. So they're pretty happy with the results. So we just finished our contaminated aluminum sample and I wanted to give you guys a couple numbers because everyone's interested on how much the value increase was. And so we ran almost exactly 2,000 pounds of contaminated aluminum and the value of that is 19 cents a pound which works out to be $380 a ton. Now we ran the sample, pulled the steel out and we ended up pulling out almost exactly 25% weight was in the steel. So we ended up, if you ran 2,000 pounds, you would end up with 1,500 pounds of clean cast aluminum. And today's prices on clean cast are about 37 cents a pound, which equates to $555 for that 1,500 pounds. So if you take the difference, we actually increase the value of the cast aluminum by $175 using the machine behind me. And the runtime for the whole 2,000 pounds was about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, so here's the results from uh, treading up those computer towers. And I don't know, we probably did 20 to 30 or so. And uh, this is the stuff that went under the mag belt. The steel has, for the most part, been pulled out of it. There's some aluminum pieces off hard drives, aluminum heat sinks. Uh, but I, I think this is all the good stuff from out of the, out of the towers. And now it can be further shredded uh, granulated, maybe run through an air table, maybe run through a water table. Um, but we've taken all the manual disassembly out of the PC towers and we've just shredded them, got the steel out, and then this is the good stuff. So we'll, we'll pour the steel out and take a look at, at the steel fraction here. And, um, but I think this worked great. This is, this is where all the money is in, in PC towers right here. So here's the steel fraction from those PC towers. And as you can see, you probably want a picker here to get some of this stuff that either got attached to the steel um, or something like 
like this that probably has a little piece of steel on it that the mag belt pulled out. There's also another little little electric motor I found in there. Um, but it, there's hardly any boards in here. The 99% the, the of the weight is the steel fraction. Um, and there again, if you wanted to get the last little bit out, you could have a little uh, picking belt coming off the mag belt that you could have a guy pulling out some of this stuff that, you know, does have some value. This is one of those that's got those little copper uh, wound around the steel magnets. Um, the mag belt pulls those out. But as you can see, it came pretty pretty darn clean. So I think it's just fantastic. We did we did great. The machine works really good for shredding PC towers. So here's some stuff I hand picked just uh, while I was standing there, kind of watching, and I tried to pull out the big aluminum heat sink. Um, to get those out. There's actually a copper heat sink in there as well. Um, but this is, again, just stuff I, I hand-picked and it didn't take very long at all. So I don't even think you need a picker after the mag belt. Where you probably need a picker is um, for the steel fraction because there's some pieces like this with a board on them that still has a little bit of steel that you want, probably want to reprocess and get that board out. So a lot of our customers have been asking to see printers run through our hammer mill. Um, so we got a couple of printers and, uh, and a DVD player here. We're going to um, run these through the hammer mill, break them up. We'll run them under the mag belt. Any steel that comes out, we'll get. And then uh, we'll see if I can pick out some boards or anything of value out of these as they're going by on the conveyor. Something unexpected when we're running printers is that they crush so fast and come out so thick on the belt, the mag belt fins actually sweep off some of the plastic into the scrap steel bin. And so you'll see on this clip and the next clip that the material is so thick on the belt that um, we need to raise the mag belt a little bit so you're not sweeping plastic into the scrap steel. This is the non-magnetic fraction of the printers. And boy, for the most part, it's all plastic. There's some copper wire that carried over, some little paper and fluff, some aluminum pieces. We found aluminum heat sink in, but the majority of this is plastic from the cases. So thanks for watching our video of our new 34 by 24 hammer mill and scrap line. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please let us know. Our info is in the description below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.